guys welcome back to Mojo Grip Mike here so today I'm in the patrol hangar let's get this thing to focus and what you see behind me here is the super patrol it's a light sport amphibian airplane and we're about to go on a flight actually let me show you let me give you a proper 360 guide uh, of this aircraft so here's the prototype of the super patrol that we're about to go fly uh, the first thing that you see that's very different about this aircraft is that it is a biplane you see one wing at the top and a shorter wing at the bottom it does serve a function it's not just there for looks uh, but it does look good okay and this is a two-seater airplane it's a light sport or you can consider it in the light sport category um, here's the cabin here very spacious you see it's a stake and rudder and as most amphibians this is a Johnson bar for the retract. So these wheels will go up uh, once you take off. All right, and if you're going to land on water, obviously you don't want this uh, wheels to be down. You want them to be up. And if you look, just let me get a little further out. You see that this thing, the bottom is shaped as a boat. And again, that's so you can have those safe landings on the water, on the water, I mean. And the doors, I thought the, the door opening is pretty cool. This may be the first one that I've seen open out like this. And it basically opens like a car door, except it opens all the way out. So let me just get in here a little bit. I want to talk to you about, and I'm going to show you just how simple uh, this aircraft is. Okay, you have the glass panel from Dynan. And uh, newer customers and newer airplanes typically will come with the Garmin G3X Touch. Now, look in the middle console here. You see there's nothing. There's absolutely nothing in terms of uh, throttle mixture or prop knob. You don't have any of that in this aircraft. These are the only switches you have in the middle console, which is your fuel pump, your lights. Your throttle is to the side. Okay, so you have one on that side and you have one on this side. Now for the typical pilot that trains uh, where in an airplane where the, uh, the throttle and power is in the middle, you might think that the transition to something like this will be you know, hard or uh, weird, but I just went on a flight in this thing and it was basic. There was nothing hard about it. You just control your throttle. But then again, I was sitting on this side, so it's I'm kind of used to having my left hand here on the stick and my right hand on you know the power or the mixture or whatever. But like I said, in this aircraft, you don't have a mixture. You don't have a propeller knob. All you have is this, and you just fly the airplane. Power and control. And this Dyna Sky view is pretty sweet. Uh, the graphics are amazing you can see everything um, and in terms of visibility uh, so you see the uh, the window extends from back here and then all the way around okay so visibility is pretty good I actually thought this bar might be in the way but I didn't have any issues uh, in, in terms of being able to see outside and here on this side uh, similar Similar design as the other side, and uh, from what I was told, this airplane will hold 25 gallons of fuel, and you have 10 on each wing, 10 gallons of fuel on each wing, and then 5 gallons in the header, which is the fuel that is going to feed the engine of the aircraft. This aircraft has no flaps, okay? There are no flaps on the wings. You don't need them. Once you are, uh, your approach speed is about 70 miles per hour, and once you let those wheels down, uh, you have enough drag 
and to slow this thing now so you don't need any flaps and I didn't find any issues uh, in the flight that we just went on okay and it is a pusher motor here's a propeller and your motor back here in the tail of the aircraft uh, honestly what I find very different about the Super Patrol again is the design as you see some control surfaces here this is a trim tab and you see it here on one of the elevators but it's not here on this elevator and also your rudder here this looks like a trim tab but it's not controllable it's already set permanently uh, for the aircraft so you don't have to mess with it when you're flying uh, it's just there and uh, one thing also I should mention about the Super Patrol you know they keep it simple they keep it simple in terms of your options and in terms of the design of the aircraft for example uh, this airplane is priced at a hundred and ninety thousand dollars or 189 and you get basically everything there's no oh can I get a glass cockpit with it or can I get this and that everything already comes with that price tag and as you can see here and again this is just a demo airplane uh, you have a full glass avionics this comes standard uh, your leather interior comes standard um, everything comes standard with this aircraft and so your options is it's basically already fully loaded when you buy it so you really don't have uh, any complaint in terms of what you want to get it's already there for you and then the last thing I'm going to show you guys is the power plant this aircraft is powered by a Rotax engine I showed you earlier that your uh, this is your motor and your propeller here now let me show you what it looks like naked it is a perfect example of your power plant. See, this is the Rotax 912IS. Okay, mounted right behind you here. And your propeller. This is what it looks like naked. Hope I'm getting enough light on this. Here's another Rotax engine. This looks like a 914, but I'm not sure. I'll confirm with them. But there you are. So there guys, this is my quick review of the Super Pritchell aircraft. I hope you can still see it behind me. Okay, if you enjoyed the video, make sure to give that thumbs up button. Uh, and also, if this is your first time, hit that subscribe button for me. Thank you so much for watching, and I will catch you on the next video. Peace.